Starport status update. This report presents the latest data on Starports experiencing technical issues as a result of Thargoid sensor-related interference. The following Starports are currently closed. Bester Terminal, Gemnik. Black Station, Laozang. Burton Vision, Dima Corner. Couchy Dock, Decked. Clink Dock, Inmino. Moochers Platform, Deacon Star. Pook Dock, Hip 35873. Rennie Hub, Kupol Boomba. Seminus Hub, Newark. St. Clair Colony, Sankungu. Smith Landing, Amber. Somerset Station, Icarane. Winkfist Terminal, NLTT 57216. Meanwhile, the following starports are on the brink of closure. Week in Review. Here are this week's major stories. Political journalist Vanya Driscoll has published an analysis of the Alliance presidential candidates. She has observed that while Elijah Beck seems content with the status quo, Fazia Silva has promised to boost the economy, and current President Gibson Kincaid has proposed that the role should include executive powers. In other news, business magnate Lloyd Hardacre has been arrested for corporate fraud after his personal administrative robot revealed incriminating evidence. The incident took place during the annual general meeting of Copernicus Shipping Limited, a firm founded by Mr. Hardacre. Lieutenant Inspector Ramesh Thorne of the Federal Security Service is investigating. Independent reporter Gethin Okonkwo has revealed that he has been living undercover in the Far God cult for three months. According to his account, the cult has no contact with the Thargoids, with most of its followers being harmless fatalists. Mr. Okonkwo recorded his experience using concealed micro cameras and has shared his data with the Federal Intelligence Agency, hoping to prove that the sect is not dangerous. Meanwhile, two rival technology companies, Supertech and Herculean Machines, have appealed for commodities to support the release of forthcoming products. Supertech is developing a personal computing device called the Talk, while Herculean Machines is working on a machine called the Jura Drive. Both companies are hoping that the support of the galactic community will allow them to share working prototypes at a technology expo on the 3rd of October. Finally, the Libertas Cooperative has announced that its appeal for commodities has reached a successful conclusion, having received an overwhelming response from the galactic community. Land enrichment systems, animal monitors, aquaponic systems, and marine equipment were delivered to Ocrinoxis Orbiter over the past week, allowing construction of a megaship where manatees will be farmed. And those are the main stories this week. Inside the Far God Cult Independent reporter, Gethin Okonkwo, who was previously thought missing, has revealed that he has been living undercover within the Far God cult for the past three months. In an op-ed piece, Mr. Okonkwo shared his experiences. I was fascinated by Dr. Al Yanov's research, and I desperately wanted to understand this doomsayer cult further, so I decided to covertly study the Far God sect by posing as an adherent. During this time, I visited hive chapels in several different systems, narrowly escaping death, when one was attacked by the Church of Eternal Void. On many occasions, I was physically and verbally abused by members of the public, including Juanita Bishop's campaign followers. At no point did I see evidence of actual contact with the Thargoids, bar the occasional use of alien material as holy artifacts. Most worshippers are essentially fatalists, attracted to the idea of an apocalypse. Some are convinced that they alone will survive the Far God's manifestation. It is a strange and often contradictory faith, but no less so than other religions. I recorded my experiences within the sect using concealed micro cameras. I am voluntarily sharing this data with the Federal Intelligence Agency to prove that the Far God sect is not dangerous, and with the hope of ending its persecution. The Presidential Power Struggle And I do believe we're possibly live. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Hello, everybody. Mr. Moo here in the cockpit. Here in Elite Dangerous. Here in uh, the Bahia Free Sector, which is 
quite a ways off the beaten path. Now, when I say quite a ways, I mean, holy crap. Iray07, how you doing? We are, well, let's see here. According to the odometer, we're 18,501.3 light years away from uh, Beagle Point. Well, actually, no, that's the trip meter. According to the odometer, we've put what? 52,000 light years on the clock? That's, uh, that ain't bad. Distance to Sol. Oh yeah, voice attack is muted, so it wouldn't actually give me that information. Distance to Sol. We are around 57,000 light years away from Sol. No, 46,842. So we've actually put an extra 11,000 light years on the clock, just uh, bouncing from place to place. <clears throat> Gret, hello there. <laughs> Blaze Homewrecker. Don't expect me to start singing Sinatra. Or sell. <laughs> oh, how is everybody? It's Wednesday, and unfortunately, I've got an early I've got to get going early, so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start going early. So yeah, Ghost Tracker, she's got a new microphone, so uh, she and I may be uh, that far away. It's a bad time to remember you left the gas on. Crap. But yeah, Ghost Tracker, she's got a new microphone set up, so we may be... Oh god, I keep getting interrupted here by bad... Oh, you could say Cell Natra. I could. I'm not. Well done, Blaze. Give yourself a, a pat on the back. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ghost Tracker's got a new microphone, so probably a little less like the evil the uh, evil demon pixie of bad navigation going through a train tunnel, and more like Ghost Tracker, which is to say the evil demon pixie of bad navigation. Crap. Uh, at least not the train tunnel. <laughs> Oh, uh, let, let me see about getting things set up with her, whether she's ready or not. But yeah, I've, uh, I've got to get going early today. I've got an appointment two hours before the usual end time, so I figured I'd start two hours before the usual start time. See if we can't uh, even it out a little bit. All right, so let's see here. Do, do, do. Move the elite track. That's got the exploration data, but it's not showing that much exploration data. <sighs> right, because I'm not exploring that much. That is, that's that's frustrating. But we will explore on the way back. I promise. Okay. Okay, but to do start up the voice call. Doink. All right. Button push. Engaged. Hello, ghost. Hello. Ah, much better. All right, much much uh, less hello. staticky. Uh, yeah. Huh? Oh, so I got double feedback on my mic. Ah, okay. Um. But yeah, now I'm like fully, I've got all the equipment I need, so this is probably, until I mess around with setting some of it, this is probably the best it's going to get. Well, that's not too bad, actually. I think it's, it's, it's easier on the ears than uh, yesterday, and yesterday wasn't yeah, too bad other than the staticky bit. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Okay. I wonder if I'm still cutting out. Cutting out a little bit, but not... I mean, that's that's cutting out. That's that's a little different from the, uh, yeah. from the static that was going on. Yeah. I think I think a lot of it was um, my laptop fan. Ah, yeah. Because um, that was just constantly going in the background going... So... Yeah. And now I've actually got my headset connected. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, did I remember to fix the drive? I did. Let's ride. I'm still like 25 jumps from where I wanted to be. Ah, good. I might actually make it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, start starting a little early today because I'm leaving a little early today. So let's let's just you know even it out and kind of iron out the difference there. Oh, ow! I did not sleep. Hank and Yuki decided to have races, <laughs> and they were using me as an obstacle in the middle of the night. Just jumping over you, your eyes. Like, yeah. Oh, like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, they were chasing each other around the house, and then uh, about 3 a.m., I heard thump, 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 and then, and Hank just landed right on a place, an 18-pound bowling ball Muppet ought to land. Fun. Oh yeah, that's. I've had fun. This wasn't it. <laughs> Sometimes you have fun, and sometimes the fun has you. In All Soviet right. Russia, fun has you. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> oh, d did you see the CIA recently declassified some jokes that they gathered from Russia? Back in the Soviet era. Oh, no, I need theaters. Yeah, they were picked... Th this is actual truth. They, they like to gather up um, local humor for their agents on the ground to try to blend in and, you know, just for their diplomatic folks to try to, you know, try to break the ice a little bit more realistically or a little bit more casually with their Soviet counterparts. Hmm. Let's see. So, like, one of the jokes is a, a little boy tells his teacher, hello. Sniper Man, hello there. Little boy um, writes in his composition book for his teacher, um, my cat had seven kittens. They are all good communists. Mm -hmm. And then the next week, <clears throat> he writes, My cat's seven kittens are all good capitalists. And she says, Now, last week you said they were good communists when they were born. And he replies, Well, yes, but now they've opened their eyes. Ha! Uh, <laughs> I feel very insulted. <laughs> <laughs> There, there's also, um, oh, what was it, uh, some guy standing in line for, standing in line for liquor. And he tells his friend, hold my place, I'm going to go shoot Gorbachev. <laughs> and <clears throat> he comes back two hours later and his, friend's a his friend asks, did you get him? He said, no, the line for that was even longer than this one. Commander Varad O seven, how you doing? Was Gorbachev actually assassinated? He wasn't, was he? No, he wasn't. No. Oh. As far as I know, he's still kicking around. Yeah, it's like I remember seeing on like TV recently. Yeah. Now Yeltsin, he uh, he wasn't assassinated, but his liver certainly didn't survive anything. <clears throat> At least he wasn't dealt with like Trotsky. True. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's interesting. I just found a neutron star that wasn't on the map originally, so... Neat. Uh, CPU spiking a bit warm. Uh, what's going on, Varad? Your CPU or mine? My CPU is holding steady at a good 10% usage right now. Mine's at like 80%. Let me double check that. Oh, yours. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Now, what is my... Actually, what is my performance numbers running right now? I am running... Nope, all things considered, my CPU is running between 60 and 70%. No. But, yeah, I'm not running a laptop, so... You know. Yeah.
Wait, though. You're not running a laptop either, damn it. You're running an Xbox. <laughs> Wait a minute. Play well, last week, last. <laughs> Either my fan curves are way off or my AI was getting weak. AIAIO. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> fan curves could be off. I know that mine, mine acts a little funny until I turn on, until I turn on the, um, uh, the benchmarking software, or the monitoring software, not the benchmarking. Duh. Brain. I know how to brain. Really. Spoiler alert. No, I don't. Brain usage, twenty percent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I too I only use ten percent of my brain at a time. <laughs> I don't know if you're hearing my like my mic keeps peaking on my end. Uh, no, I'm not really hearing. I'm not hearing too much on the hitting the hitting the top of the meter there. Okay. Apparently, when I laugh, as well as like pitches me like extremely. I don't know how oh, to fix that, because I turned into that. the pixie again. I just thought you pitched high when you laughed. I am... Um, I mean, I am a actually high laugher. Spectrum. <laughs> but... My laptop seems to... And I'll, um... It's a really... Jerry rig system, so I'll fix it some later. Yep, I am very familiar with clutched up stuff. Oh, lord. <laughs> this is, I mean, you know, I, I got my i got my audio set up to something that seems somewhat... Bibli Wait a minute. Bibliophilus, it's soon time to reactivate the winter GPU overclock. I like you. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hello, Twin Stars. But no, I mean, I, I had such a clutched together rig for so long. And then I ended up with a really set of clutched together controls instead. You slightly good. upgraded to a decent computer, and it's just clutched together controls. Oh, I, for so long, for, for as long as I've had computers, I just threw together, well, I threw together the good enough system. You know, try to... Try to save a little bit here, save a little bit there, and pretty soon I've got a machine that runs adequately for current stuff. And then it gets, like, out, run out. Exactly. <laughs> so a couple years back, Niao said, you know what, just just screw it. Let's let's future-proof our rigs. Let's just, let's just future-proof everything. So right now we're just running into the level where we're starting to chug a little bit on the super high-end stuff. But it served us well for a good three years. Four gigahertz are going to become like a regular. Yeah, I, I had four. I I've got a three point. What was I hope I got a three point. A three point six or so that I've overclocked to four point two. Oh, fair. Mine's two point four, but it's um like interweaved or something. So I have to plug in my um, charger in order to get like the max out of it. Ah, gotcha. Uh, Bibliophilus, steady 2050 megahertz on the 1080 Ti. Well, that's good. I haven't even checked my overclock settings on that. I got the, uh, I got the, yeah, I think I got the 1080 Ti Superclock Black Edition or something. My old CPU is clocked to 5.2. Spin that electric meter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I <clears throat> we we upgraded when I when I upgraded my power supply the first time, there was a little bit of worry because we had been blowing breakers. Galaxy map, and oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, well, I upgraded from a 350 watt power supply to an 850 watt power supply. And Niao asked me at work, she said, okay, so what did you do again? I said, I got a new power supply. All right, is that safe? Well, I tell you what, if you lose connection with me in the next 30 seconds, we'll know it's not. 
<laughs> and then I flip the switch. Dual Sandy Bridge, Xeon 16 by 3, uh, 16 at 3.3 gigahertz. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it's not like, you know, the super, but it's good. <laughs> the new Ryzen draws 350 watts. Oh, those things do run. They run nicely. So efficient. My old, my old laptop, uh, it had like this really chunky power supply. It was like higher than the British average. And then the CPU ran at 0 0.65 gigahertz. <laughs> it was really, really old. Yeah, I, um, Oh, let me, well, let's see here. Give me a second here to refuel. I'm going to reminisce my way right into the needing the fuel rats at this rate. The amount of times I've needed the fuel rats is insane. It's not normal for one commander. <laughs> now if I just get rid of this annoying thing called windows. Winter's coming. You want windows. They keep the heat in. <laughs> But no, Niao had, oh, what did she have? I think it was like a, I want to say, this is back in the mists of time. She had an AMD Thunderbird or something, and she called it the Firebird because just how absolutely bonkers overheating that thing would get. My old laptop used to burn my lap. Yeah, yep. Uh, yeah. Radio oh, I'm not gonna crash. Oh, I'm not gonna crash. Nope. Crash into a star or I system crash? That uh, system crash. I don't get that. Oh, I'm gobbling now. <laughs> you came with the neutron star, though. <sighs> okay, I'm hearing sirens. Hank, what did you do? Hide the cat! Quick! This is what happens when you start tanking. <laughs> is it? <laughs> one second. Again, jet cone okay. seems to garble you up a little bit. Uh, run that one past me again. Um, is it like, um, any other better operating system than Windows that isn't like Mac? Because Mac is like really incompatible. Yeah. So I was... It's like Mac works really well, but doesn't work with like 80% of the things produced ever. Yeah, I used to fly with somebody who they had to run a Windows emulator on their Mac in order to get Horizons to go. Talk <sighs> about overheating. Of course, it didn't help that I gave them a, a first generation X56. Oh, those things were bad. It, it, it's, it's like somebody took an, Oh, it's like somebody took an X55 Rhino and hit it with a bedazzler. <laughs> And the X-55 Rhino was no real piece of work either, let me tell you. Well, it was, a, it was a piece of something, but it wasn't work. It was another four-letter word. The game oh. of S. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. 
When when you were flying and your trigger locks in the safe position, but the internal switch locks in the fire position, you've got a problem. <laughs> For a while, because I had nothing else, I was trying to, um, I was trying to adapt to that by using, by setting up my fire group so I'd toggle a fire group, a group on or off if I wanted to shoot. That's pretty clever. Clever, yes. Useful, eh, beats a stick in the eye, I guess, but. Primitive, but effective. Yeah. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Primitive but effective. You could call that the title of my autobiography. <laughs> so yeah, for those tuning in, those joining us, me and Commander Ghost Tracker here, who is on her console, so unfortunately no, cro no crossplay, we are racing to Beagle Point. He's still winning. I'm still winning. Though that may change because I've got an appointment to get to in a little under three hours. So I've got I've got some mileage I gotta put down if we wanna make it anywhere. I've got the next six hours. So <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Still might win on the technical way. Well, technically correct is the best kind of correct, so I can only assume a technical win is the best kind of win. Yeah. Feels like you've stolen it. Oops. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Resume course. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Do because I'm still finding a bunch of undiscovered neutrons out here based on the route plotter. I mean, I haven't actually discovered discovered them yet, but on the way back, I'm going to be doing a lot more, a lot more uh, cartogra uh, cartography. Yeah, cartography, that's the word I'm looking for. You're going to do the mapping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the map thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to the Lake of Despair and then cut back into the center. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to actually try to dive under. Oh, okay. Bibliophilus, what about the new SRV coming? I'm sorry, did you... <laughs> A what? I didn't hear about this. Of course, I did just I... woke up. I must have missed it. Stop the as well. Does it fly? Does it no longer go beach balling off of any, you know, rock larger than... Okay, I was going to say larger than a meter, but to be fair, anything would go pinballing off of something. A battle <laughs> SRV? Are we getting a Is tank? Oh, that would be cool. Oh, like a skimmer. Okay, you have my attention. Oh, if we if we got You know what? I would be happy with a battle SRV if it was heavier and if it actually stuck to the ground a little bit more. Is that links for this? 
yeah, do you have any links on this? Hit me up. I, I will give you all of the permits. Double wide SRV. Link me up here, man. Come on. <laughs> it's an SRV that's had a little bit too much to eat. Now, now, it's a tank. It, it, <laughs> it needs to support all that armor. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if it, instead of plasma repeaters it had uh, <laughs> rail guns? Ooh. Like a, well, like a, just like one large rail gun. Yeah. Like, like, like a tiny gun. That's so cool. Uh, so saw a cool. dark, mysterious Twitter photo from a dev. Gotcha. Plasma accelerator? Oh, that'd be fun too. You fire it once and it just melts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hagen, good evening. How you doing? Me and Ghost Tracker are still, uh, cannonballing towards Beagle Point. I have three jumps away before I get to the edge of the... that arm. Oh, the inner edge of the arm? Yeah. I think I'm there already. You're probably only like halfway through the arm. No, no, I'm just oh, getting no. to the. Yeah, I'm just I, getting I to the edge. I think you're too far behind, then. Well, I'm about to neutron boost, so that advantage is about to go away. Just so you know. <laughs> well, that and we've still got the abyss to cross, and that's where. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the fun bit. Seriously, my jump range there—I mean, 13 light year advantage. That's going to be a big deal in the Abyss. There's no way to bypass it, is there? Like, um, uh, not really. You need... It, it, you can kind of sort of bypass, but it's still going to be... I mean, you've, you're still going to have to at least skirt it some way. Mm. Tyro Ertz. That's the sound I make when I'm changing a tire on a tractor. Tire rods! Just <laughs> tighten the damn bolts! <clears throat> oh, farmer flashback there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> The closest thing I've ever got to farm work is like um, walking behind tractors that were plowing fields in France mm -hmm. because they would chuck up like um, level one, level two relic things mm -hmm. and we would collect them. The farmer would sometimes pay us because we're getting rid of like the metal. Oh, Bibliophilus, one second there. You need a you need a permit. There, there, post away! <laughs> Thank you, sorry about that, Bib. Bib? Bibliopolis. Bibby! Oh, goodness. Coming this fall, a killer SRV stalks its prey in the dead of space in The Scarab. I like it. Does it come in black? <laughs> nope. Ow, it shot that cool. one badly. Yeah, it's not bad. Wait, isn't the Scarab the standard name of the SRV? This thing's gonna have to be something other than the Scarab. Oh, Twitch ads? Uh, I'm sorry? I still don't know how to control that. 
I'm, I'm only an affiliate, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you get bits, which you can then throw back at me. <laughs> Sorry, Ghost, go on. Uh, so, so I was wondering if I could flute to uh, beat you. Oh, I, mis I mispronounced the uh, plot. <laughs> oh, I'm 3,000 light years behind you. Or oh, am I just reading that wrong? Oh, no, I'm... Oh, look at that. Pretty. One, 1,000 light years behind you. Oh, okay. Looking at some of the black, the white on black, or the um, orange that the Xbox has default kind of um, messes with my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, do I the white. Uh, oh, sorry, God. No, no, go on. It's like when I go to dock, uh, like a thing, and it's like an um, actually like a. Dock 26, but I'm trying to like a uh, dock at 28. <laughs> uh, do the why didn't you dodge sound bit? I unfortunately I don't have that set up right now. I, I don't know where it went. Uh, I'd have to dig it up, but I need to keep jumping. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it there before I got to go. Got to go, go, go. No, I <laughs> But Ray, I will make it up to you. I will I will find that clip and I will get it I will get it put into the system. As soon as I find it again. Yeah, we are getting in some really sparse territory, I think, because I've only got... Oh, this is a neutron. Oh, it's a neutron star. Never mind. That'll help my... That'll help me a bit. I'm plotting, so you've got, like, another five-minute event. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this far, this far out from the bubble? Or this far out from the core? Um... Yeah... Like, I've, I suppose it's got to get through the abyss. Oh, right. So it's like the opposite problem. It's not taking as long, which is good. What is our range at the moment? 14,800 light years to Beagle. And 16,400. So this is actually the furthest I've been away from the bubble. Oh yeah, this is well past anything I've ever done, too. And I'm fine. 206 and I jumped to the hole. 206? Uh, 69. Okay. Uh, I am, if I follow this, 121. Of course, I can't follow that entirely, so... Oh, we're gonna be... 
It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Nine five. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be going to be close. Do they like turn into in class first, or do they always say like AL? Because it says it's like on the borderline. Oh, right. So. Um, <clears throat> as far as I know, M class stars don't turn into L class. M class, they, they're on the lowest end of fusion, and L class is on the highest end of not fusing. Oh, so L class don't like they, they won't fuse, they're just on the borderline. Right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Galaxy map. Paste. Yeah, I'm taking some risks here, Ray, but I mean, unfortunately, I wasn't supercharging. I, I didn't get down into the cone, so that was just wasted time on, on my part. Is it the throw around when you're in a FSD jet? Does that get worse the smaller ship you have? Uh, yeah, it, the higher mass ship, it seems to handle a little bit better. Okay. Paste. That's what I wanted to do. Hello. Desert dude, hey, what's up? As you can see, we are rapidly approaching Beagle Point. We've managed to knock off, what, about 650 some light years? Maybe 700? Hey, Nacer. How you doing? Oh, I don't... I try not to take anything into a white dwarf star. Those things are just made of hate and protons. And I'm not so sure about the protons. Pretty spot on job with the white dwarf yesterday. Yes, you see, I was angry enough at that that gravity held no hold over me. 
do your anger held in place. <laughs> That's right. I moved from speaking English to Angrish. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, it looks like we gotta re reset the jet. Yeah, Naser, I found a Lucky me, I found a white dwarf out here. Aren't I just the luckiest boy in the world? Keep yawning. Ah. Yeah, I went full three stooges. I went Yosemite Sam on that thing. Resume course. One more nanosecond in the jet stream and it would have charged me. I too enjoy finding hell 25,000 <laughs> light years from society. Oh no, we were closer to 50,000. Well, 48,000. It was near the tail end of the stream yesterday and yeah, it was so... <clears throat> Technically my speaking. <laughs> resume course? No, no course to resume. I might actually try and get to uh, Salamis Reach after we're done with this. Yeah, I think I will too. Just, I don't think I'll be making it today. Hell, I don't even know if I'll be making it to Beagle Point today. I'm going to come back on tomorrow and I'll like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Salome really should have learned the value of email. <laughs> Need to open a, uh, a shop named uh, Salome. Sal oh, what's that sausage? Salami. <laughs> <laughs> an SRV, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, the Bifrost carries an SRV, not a mining laser. Because, well, actually, that's a very smart thing. I probably should have just popped on a mining laser instead of an SRV. Would have saved me some weight, but every once in a while I thought, you know, maybe I'm just going to newt newt around on the surface. Obviously, this has not happened. I'm too busy racing. Oh, I did it again. Ah. Flew straight for the jet. Yeah, unless you have cargo collector limpets, how much fun are you going to have cargo scooping in an anaconda? Well, I don't need much for, you know, more for emergency situations than anything. But, I mean, my base jump range is 75 light years, and that's with a full tank. So if I, if I end up stranded in a region where I can't get out with 75 light years, plus a level 1 synthesis boost, I have done something horribly wrong. And I deserve all the bad things. Hello, spinny star. Holy crap, you are screen tearing my 
How to Kill a Video Card 101. All we need now are a bunch of... All we need now is a dogfight. With this as a background. With somebody equipped with nothing but pack hounds. Come on, kick me out of this thing, damn it. Nope. <laughs> Those rapidly spinning ones, you are along for the ride the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I Barnard, I've, I've had fun scooping cargo without limpets and an anaconda and... Well, no, actually, I've had fun and that wasn't it. Just remember, Hank can always bring you home. Not with my new control setup, you can't. I'm keeping it that way. <laughs> the most humorous thing I found about that was that it has tail. Cool. One second on that, you, you you're garbling up because I'm in the jet cone. Whatever that is, it's screwing on my end. Ah. Are we out of? Out Looks of like I'm out of the jet cone now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my most, like, the thing I found funniest about that was how his tail was hitting a print screen. And it was just giving you records. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that great. Ain't he just the best little guy? Yeah, for those unfamiliar, my cat blew up my ship 13,000 light years away from home. And he jumped up on the keyboard, he hit the, he hit the FSD, and he hit the uh, silent running. And he was thumping his tail on the screenshot key. So he kept, he, he documented this. My ship was at 3% hull, 1,283% heat. And the next screenshot he took was a rebuy. Was the rebuy screen. <laughs> My cat. Uh, Bibliophilus, you need a safety cutoff switch in the chair to lock out controls. That's what I have now. Alright, take care, Ray. Thanks for stopping by. Galaxy map. Oop. That reminds me when um, I took out my A rated assets explored. Because I thought A rate was the best and it would give you the best jump range. Or Barn had said. <laughs> yeah, well, A rated is, I mean, it's. It's really down to personal taste. I know that uh, Malik always runs A rated everything, even on his exploration ships, because he likes the GTFO options. And uh, Barnard, setting off my first exploration tour, I have a mining laser for collecting mats, pulse laser, interacting with guardian toys, fighter bay, dinking around, gotcha, uh, SRV bay, exploration on my anaconda. Realize now I could have skipped the mining laser and pulse laser because of the fighter and the SRV, yeah. Lessons learned, well, best kind. At least it didn't blow you up, so that's the, that's the better kind of lesson. Uh, shed the weight when I get to Colonia or back to the bubble. Sounds good. That that is a that is an excellent way to look at it. Well, 
What are the chances the four dangerous to elite pythons will kneel to my conda if I just put altered and multis on it? Mm, depends on how much chaff they got. And yeah, an Asp Explorer kind of needs kind of needs something there in the thrusters. Otherwise, I mean, yeah, like I've said, bottle rocket retros. Yeah, changing from A rate to B rate thrusters is very dumb. Oh, shit. Wait, did you say A rated to B rated? A rated to D. Oh, D. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say A rated to B. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Making it heavier. Ah, you see, that's my plan. Then when I move back, then when I move back to A-rated, it feels lighter. <laughs> hey, like, welcome back, Gret. B is the heaviest, but has most integrity, I think. Yeah, the the B rate, yeah. all the B-rated equipment is armored. Uh, what's C? What's C's things? Uh, C is just... It is literally average. E, C, uh, and A are all the same mass, just different performance. Uh, D is the lightest and the least armored. B is the heaviest and most armored. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, C is very much just <laughs> the literal middle ground. Uh, Gret, sup, all going well? Things are going swimmingly. Just, uh... He's beating me by quite a great distance. Well, there's that too, but I'm not... I'm not trying to, you know, dwell on who's ahead of who here. <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, I'll hop on it. I'm trying to be magnanimous. Magnaminius... Minimus Ambus, whatever. It's a Latin word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, just remember Megus XLR. Um, Bruce Campbell voiced a guy by the name of Magnanimous, and the heroes could not pronounce his name to save their lives. Magnanimous. Manly Magnanimous. Moose. Magnanimous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The final showdown was him in a giant suit of robotic armor. Actually, they took Bruce Campbell and they put his face on a on a Modoc, basically. <laughs> so it's this giant Bruce Campbell head and two little legs and two stubby little arms kind of floating around there. Here again, I'm going to need just one nanosecond. There we go. Resume course. Galaxy map. No, the oh, final battle... A... Oh, sorry, go on. And I've just jumped into like a true binary system. So the... The two main stars are orbiting a central point. But they are... Like, on the same... They have the same orbit, but they're never going to meet. If that makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's quite interesting. Yep, the, uh, Barry Center. Yeah. But no, the final battle came down to Bruce Campbell in a giant suit of armor suitable for his head. And a sonic cannon versus Coop and a weaponized karaoke machine. Yes, because his singing is just weapons grade bad. <laughs> just tried going to an outpost in Akanda. Did they let you land? Oh, that was a bad entry. That just kicked me right back out. I've got some time.
discrimination against big shits. <laughs> <laughs> got to tick off an EDDB that I need large landing pads. An important thing to remember. Paste. Well, 400 light years, 460 some light years away in four jumps. I can work with that. About 100 jumps? Yeah. That's about what I've been averaging out on this trip. I think I've been averaging around about 78. I do love these big fuel scoops, just you're gonna need more of that. <laughs> <laughs> what size fuel scoop is that one? 7A. Ah. Mine is a... Uh, 6A. So. so you got the from... Eight, seven, eight tons a second. Yeah, so, I, I, I'm. Well, no. Um, let's see here. Uh, fuel scooping scoop rate is measured in kilograms. Ah. So I'm I'm pulling up just a little bit. Let's see if I get here maximum rate. One thousand. I get uh, twelve hundred kilograms per second at maximum scoop. And I get eight, seven, eight. So you upgrade about 400 kilograms. 50%, yeah. Yeah. Well, 33%, maybe, ish. Um, I don't know, that's... <laughs> D2-117, that is my next. Oh, okay, that's weird. What, what, Ooh. what? Did you um, blow up? I just jumped into a... No, I, I jumped okay. into a neutron star. But there's... Four other stars in very close to orbit. So I went through one. And then... It looked like on my screen for a second that a N class was um, producing a neutron jet stream. Oh. So it kind of, uh, that was weird. I get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Ah, too fast, too fast, too fast. Saved it. Warning, hull breach attack. Taking internal damage. What? Galaxy map. Okay. Oh, yeah, it says hold break. Yeah. Yeah, hold break when you're like um, taking module damage for some reason. Yeah. And I just hit the, uh, the malfunctioning stage of the drive. I don't want to turn off my drive though. Right, 
Why is that noise clip from yesterday? It was like the end. Engine <laughs> trying to stop. <laughs> yeah. Not any of how can. Uh, yep, I've uh, I've earned that one. All right. Looks like I am gonna have to swing back towards the star anyway and re. Naser had to do chores. No. Oh, yeah. That's regret. No worries. Resume course. Uh, I just got a warning of a hull breach attack, and yeah, my FSD is down for the count. That's quite severely malfunctioning one. Alright. Well, we're just gonna have to say screw it and fix the drive. I don't think you lose the boost if you turn it off. Well, I guess we're going to see here in a second, aren't we? If you do, I mean, it benefits me. But... <laughs> All right, let's see if I've still got my charge. I do. <laughs> Hot damn. All right, we're good. Oh. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> uh, do you power down modules to save fuel? I don't. I mean, I can. I, I turn off my cargo scoop, things like that, and I turn off... Well, I suppose I do turn off some modules, like my SRV bay and things like that, but... I was just powering down. I, I keep my shields up. And I keep my power distributor up. And everything else is pretty essential. One second. Again, it looks like the worst of the garble only happens when I am uh, supercharging. Huh. That's very strange. Maybe, hey. um, computer demand? Uh, possibly computer demand, possibly it's sending some data over to, you know, sending big packets of data, I'm not sure. Because hmm. okay. it could be computer demand, but it could also be, um, network demand. It creates, uh, what's it called? Bonic. Yeah. Um, but I thought you, uh... Like, your power generator wasn't good enough to power everything, so you just had, like, certain things off. Yeah, I, I turn off my yeah. auto-maintenance units, except when I need to repair and then I turn off my thrusters. But I'm not going to be doing repairs on the fly while, you know... Yeah. I can't. I can't use the. I can't use the auto repair system in Super Cruise anyway. At least not to fix my FSD, or we're going to end up with a real mess. You end up more damage than you're fixing. Yeah. So Paste. Oh, this area is one 
one letter away from being known as a trident set. That would be so cool. <laughs> trident. Pokey. Pokey, pokey. Oh, what are the headlines of the week this week? Oh, that was weird. My witch face was very blue for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, this is far gone coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a moment there when I when, when I heard the notice of my uh, hull breach. I'm like what? Do you ever like? Have you ever? Do like an in-game message and the whole body freezes because you think there's something like you yeah. think near you and you look at the direct right message. Yeah, I, I get that, and it's like, oh no. Well, I didn't need to supercharge that jump, but it certainly saved me a whole bunch of fuel. Now that's true, Gret. That's another way of looking at it. My emotions. <laughs> yes, Yamex. <laughs> <laughs> Even I don't swear enough to be on that Yamex. I've talked to him a few times. He's a good guy, but yeah, he. <laughs> oh, when he gets a good head of steam going. <laughs> Oh, that's my phone. That's for my phone. Don't know if that picked up on stream. A little bit of an odd interference buzz. Yeah, that was, um... I got a text on my phone, and my mic doesn't like that very much. Yeah, don't have your don't have your phone anywhere near the wiring. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It used to be, I mean, boy, I remember back in the day, I had a, um, old Nokia brick, you know, the, the indestructible kind, but any time a message came in, every computer speaker for 10 feet around would just glitch like crazy. I love the noise it makes, it's like that da 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 I had a, back when dial-up was common. Uh, we had a PC, and um, our whole flat used the um, use like some kind of integrated wire system. Mm -hmm. So if you were on the computer, and then someone in the flat was on the phone at the same time, you would hear one end of the conversation. <laughs> Thinking about I was like six when this happened. So like I just my computer suddenly started talking to me in my head and I had like nightmares for like three days afterwards that all the electronics in my house was starting attacking me <laughs> Hank what did you do so he looks at you like nothing <laughs> he's in his cube his, his fortress of <laughs> leave me alone. I had a question to ask, but instead instinctively jumped out of the airlock. Oh seven. They can be taught. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how you doing, Prophet? OK, 
Okay, did I take any other damage? No, I did not. Okay. Good, so that quote-unquote hull breach attack only affected my FST. Doing good. How goes the trip? Well, we have, uh... Oh, we've broken the 9,000 light year barrier. So I'd say we're doing good. We are within 9,000 light years of, uh... Well, not... We're within 10,000 light years. But there's a 9 on my... Close enough. Anyway, we're close to Beagle. <laughs> Don't talk. Trying to navigate. Uh, Wait, different services have beats. What's that? Um, NASA. And my boyfriend can tell apart who's calling me based on the beats he hears. Oh, okay. I don't know if different services use said beats. I thought it was just one beat. I'm 13,000 light years away, so you're about 4k in front of me. Yep. So you managed to gain about 3,000. Yep. <laughs> Beeps and staticky toot toot noises. I love that description. <laughs> Paste. Come on. Paste. <laughs> no, no, it's a good description. I like it. It's like that, um, oh, that post about different names for common things. Like, um, you know, Merry-go-round, horse tornado. Um, <laughs> um, I like that. Ah, uh, what was another one? Uh, air horn, scream spray. <laughs> uh, gloves, hand shoes. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. It was a picture of kittens and somebody called them cat puppies. <laughs> Feathers, bird leaves. There you go. Treats, oxygen dispensers. <laughs> <laughs> Six. That's our next stop. Good that I'm fueling up here. Horse tornado. Yep. My other favorite, I mean, this this has been a long time, but it is, oh, it's hilarious. It was the, the descriptions of various degrees of pulp in orange juice. I'm silly, but th there was, there were like three grades of orange juice in the stores where you got pulp-free, pulp, loaded with pulp. And then somebody created a list of of increasing orders of pulpitude. <laughs> I think I've seen it. 
Let me pull it up here. Nacer might get a Nacer might get a laugh out of this. Galaxy map. To do right. That's where I'm already at. So I need to move on to the next one. Paste. Bathtub reverse boat. I like it. I like it. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, give me a second here. Do -do -do. I cannot actually find it right now. Damn it. Wait, here we go. Okay, and for a moment we are going to be uh, rescinding the the PG-13 level because this is too good. So, at the <laughs> grocery store, orange juice available as no pulp, with pulp, more pulp, loaded with pulp. Uh, they did not have the other levels which are in order of increasing pulpitude. Loaded with even more pulp. Extra loaded with lots of pulp. Holy shit, that's a lot of pulp. Seriously, there's a lot of pulp in this motherfucker. Stop fucking with me, who would want this much pulp? I'm not fucking with you, there's so much goddamn pulp in this some bitch. you should forget a straw because you'll need a fucking ladle. <laughs> Screw the ladle, get a carving knife. No longer juice, slightly damp pulp. And an orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grant. That's terrible. I approve. I approve. Pulp Fiction. God, I hate you sometimes. All right, we're back to... Back to PG-13-ish. Oh, here you go, Nacer. The list. Yep, great. You win exactly one internet. Please use it wisely. My of yeah, <laughs> and, and and ghosts, you know, stamp of approval. <laughs> yes, you win one internet and a ghost stamp of approval. Please, please delete Twitter while you're at it. Can I just change my name in the Discord to an orange? I... Uh, I guess? You could... You can indeed change your nickname. You can be an orange. <laughs> that paves the way to when she's just going, hey, hey, Apple, hey, Apple, hey, hey, Apple, hey, just constantly, like, to herself. <laughs> Uh, yes, Gret sums it up well. You can, should you? That is a very, very good question. Galaxy map. Why is that the question? Oh, welcome back. <clears throat> 168 light years. Okay, this is going to be four jumps out. Interesting. Well, I think I just found another neutron star that isn't on the route plotter. I am going to be mapping so many neutrons on the way back. <laughs> We 
you shall revolutionize hyperspace travel. <laughs> Nacer did it anyway, lovely. <sighs> Welcome to the Errantry Alliance. We are loaded with crazy people. <laughs> or maybe extra loaded with more crazy people. I don't know. We could describe ourselves in order of pulpitude. Holy crap, that's a lot of crazy people. I can't believe that makes me top crazy. Uh, no, it, it doesn't, actually. Believe me, it doesn't. I can't believe it makes you better. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be command staff since we're the orange color? Oh, we have the monopoly on the crazy. We just dole it out. We license it. It's like franchising. Uh, 92% on the jump drive. Yeah, let's drop down here if, and get that fixed. If orange is the color of crazy, my, like, the way I've set my, uh, Discord up is rank is determined by how red you are. So if you're, like, you're blue, you're, like, the bottom rank. But if you're, like, red, you're the top rank. Mm -hmm. So does that make us just, like, on a scale of crazy? Because it's yes. all kind of, like... Orange. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised you even have to ask. Yeah, true. My senior members are just insane. <laughs> Alright, fix that. Turn those off. Turn that back on. Yes, I had to turn it off and turn it back on again to make it work. A courier is trying to pirate you. Give him some bananas. Tons and tons of fruit veg. <laughs> you know, really, a relativistic anything is going to do a serious amount of damage to something. I'd love to shoot somebody with a relativistic banana. Turn him into a banana split. Well played. <laughs> well played. I've been slacking all my cartons. I need to start them again. Do you? Do you? <laughs> all right, we're leaving the Bahia Brisis uh, sector very soon. And going into the squeaky sector. It's my mic when I kick it. Squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> now you've, Nacer, don't you have the uh, the ship loaded with multi cannons? Give him his daily recommended allowance of vitamin tungsten. I don't believe so. I think they use hypergolic propellant. Hypergolic ah. or... Yeah, hypergolic or caseless. Wait, your, your power plant can't handle multi-cannons? What kind of... of what kind How of poor little... Poor sickly, sickly little vessel, are you flying? <laughs> Needs more iron in its in its diet. More iron. I love the way the Canadians say iron. 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 Yep. <laughs> Hamster wheel power. So hard. <laughs> 
at poor hamster. But if it's a miniature giant space hamster, well, then you got a Minsk. <laughs> Oop, let's see here. Evil, meet my sword. Sword, meet evil. Because Minsk is awesome. I said mince, not mink. <laughs> I thought Beagle Point was in um, sixty-five thousand, not seventy. Uh, it is sixty-five thousand light years away. Ah, oh, because you're um. If you tally, tally up there, tally up the distance between your odometer and the distance to be the point, it was about 70. Oh One. yeah, it's it's 65,000 as the crow flies. However, I've been slightly, I've been using oh, a 75% been... efficient course for neutron boosts. Uh... So yeah, I'm not flying a direct line. And even if I was flying a direct line, it would still be... Yeah, it would still be, you know, greater than the actual distance. Gret, like building... I get it. Yeah. Uh, Gret, building a Fertilant specialized in taking down capital ships. Multi-cannons and hot tub seeking missiles. Spot on. Oh, slightly on fire for a moment. Nothing, nothing horrible. Guess I should really remember to start charging my drive when I'm not scooping, but eh, sometimes I get a little impatient. I haven't melted the ship yet. Smoothest neutron drop. Smoothest neutron, neutron star there. Smoothest neutron star jump. I've done in a while. It's also the least smooth sentence I've ever produced in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you need to re-engage the pun part of your brain and put it into the conversational part. <laughs> Galaxy map. Come on, why are you so slow today? Yeah, I have a better quality mic now. Well, not there, quite a bit of setup. I was using a, um, a, like, a really cheap sound card that I literally bought yesterday, and it fell apart yesterday. So, which is an example of how cheap it was. But, um, yeah, an actual good sound card and a reverse splitter now, so I can actually use my decent mic. Okay, it is 11.30, my time. I've got an hour and a half to make it to Beagle. So if you do 77 divided by 3. Uh, I've got... So... According to this, I've got 83 jumps. Holy oh, crap, hell. this is going to be cutting it close. Hey, divided by three. That 25, no. 27 point. So, somewhere between 20 and 30 jumps an hour. Or half hour. 
Wait, that's how far you got before you got Beagle? Sorry, second? How, how far do you have before Beagle, or what were you trying to figure there? Oh, uh, I was trying to figure out how many jumps you have to do every half hour. Oh, yeah. Well, as I've long got... as I can get in, as long as I can get in a jump oh. under a, a jump a minute, I'm good. Yeah. Um, I've got 218 jumps to go. Okay, so barring anything horrible, I got this. This is for something horrible. So. I've never wiped off. <laughs> Oh no, I've filtered that out. Your oh. space magic manipulation <laughs> tricks won't work on me anymore. At least not that one. I've got navigation pixie tricks up my sleeve there. Wait a minute. Resume course. That's going to cut into my trip a little bit, but we'll get there. Yeah, Bibliophilus, exactly. I wonder if I ask if they, if they would like do 200 jumps for me. <laughs> Asking oh, for like, a friend. I just say, I'm in a race. <laughs> go on. Oh no, 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 go on. I uh, just like, just say, I'm in a race. Can you help? It's against the stream if that helps. <laughs> yeah, asking for a friend. <laughs> I'm so glad they um they actually gave me back my uh Astro Explorer when I was on the way back from the core originally. Yeah. Because yeah, because I was uh, docking. You you know how like on the way to Colonial you've got like four bases. Yeah. Yeah. Like planetary base. Yeah. I was on the last one before you get to the bubble, or the first one, depending on the way you look at it. And um, I took off. And then that controller died. And oh I went no. straight into a map. Oh, <laughs> oh! Target unlock! Target unlock! Yeah. <laughs> I lost like 18 million. Oh. And uh, but they um gave it back to me. Well, that was good of them. And Bibliophilus. Oh, I'm very familiar with that. Yeah. It's it's on my uh, my list of good road tripping songs. They had FSD in 3125. They didn't have FSD, but they did have hyperspace. Ah. Yeah, they had like you had to get um, external um, external approval of your flight plan, and then they had to align some kind of jump gate, and it it was a mess. You know, as opposed to now, where you just leave the station and go for jump. There was like space traffic controllers that had to. Had to get everything lined up, and he had a he had a, a queuing system for jumping. Imagine if they had the back the game, the back crash they get. <laughs>
Bless you. Carranza, thank you so much for the sub. Greatly appreciated using your Twitch Prime sub there. Me after evading two interdictions back to back. I lived. <laughs> According to this, I have got 74 jumps to go. <laughs> well, if you weren't doing them for the errand tree, you'd be doing for doing them for somebody else. So, thank you so much, Nacer. Yes. <laughs> you, you know, like do it for us. yeah, Ghost Group, Vanguard of Pravda. <laughs> Who wants to do that? <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's I not know. what I meant. <laughs> See, she agrees with me. <laughs> Being bad play. You may be the mistress of puns, but I can get you spun around linguistically. <laughs> Doesn't help because English isn't my mother's tongue. You bully. I'm from Iowa. English is barely our <laughs> our language. <laughs> Speak English, bad English, and Angrish. Also, uh, from Gret earlier on, it's fun to see how the canon changed because he describes a lot of the alien races gallivanting around. That's right, I do remember that. <laughs> Silas wants me to mine actual mining only stuff. <laughs> ah, Silas, you kid are you. I like mining. <laughs> yeah, but he usually wants something like thousands of tons of something. All your words are words for corn? Eh, there's other words. Write the word for cow. Cow? <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> the Interstate 80 through Iowa song is quite accurate. Mississippi River. Muscatine. Corn, 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 corn. What's that smell? Corn, 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 <laughs> corn, 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 corn. Look at tree. <laughs> corn, 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 corn. Hey, we've hit Des Moines. Corn, 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 corn. There's that smell again. Uh, estimated profit. I can verify mountains are real. Nay, sir, I have mild space madness. Did you not just hear me singing the Iowa song? Join the club, Nay, so we have cookies. Uh, Desert Dude, good old Silas, he's still kicking around? Yeah, he, uh... He's something, alright. I mean, really, you could adapt that song to jumping to, uh, anywhere. Star, 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 star. What the hell? Star, 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 star. Ooh, look, an O-class. <laughs> then you hit a wide and it turns into a hard rock. 
Person for Vanguard is a Sela Marsh or something. S E L A A M A R S H. That is Marsh. <laughs> Galaxy map. Shoot, something, something's gone off. Language is failing me. Uh, we are Wait, going that's to. Anything good. You know what? We are turning off the route filter. Sending signals to your ship to give you a white door for this. <laughs> this can only go well. Well, you know. Born in the space madness, molded by it. Didn't grasp the cold truth of sanity until I was already a man. <laughs> uh, gonna engineer an explorer? As long as it doesn't turn into an explodier, you're fine. Somebody should do a bigger point. Uh, oh, anyway. My mic's way to cook. Yeah, well, mic problems. Um, Somebody should do a Explorer Type 9 to be go. Um, it's been Where done. Uh, Nyao was out oh, with, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it was like the Colossus Wasp or something like that. It was a, it was one of the organizers of the original Distant Worlds run. And they had a Type 9 loaded up with, I believe, Lavian Brandy that they distributed to all the explorers who made it out there with them. That's impressive. Especially if it's during Destin Worlds 1. Yeah, it was Destin like, Worlds 1. they didn't have the uh, boosters. No, they didn't have the boosters. They had a lot of premium Jumbonium. A lot. Yeah, jump range on that one, huh? <laughs> uh, jump range on a Type 9 without Guardian boosters and with Engineering 1.0. Ah, uh, yeah. Ish. For jump 30? range was ish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there's a nebula over there. Go have a look. You got time. <laughs> You've got time. <laughs> I'm not in that luxury. Damn it, get clear of the star. Screw it, jumping! <laughs> uh, Kranz, the best I can squeeze out of it is 45 light years. Well, then you got, you know, so you can 30, you can take 11, 11 light years worth of that in cargo. By which I mean enough cargo to shave off another 11 light years. <clears throat> Give it. I'm actually uh, about to jump into it. So, oh, all right. Well, tell me how it goes. A, Watch out for the black hole. It's a neutral star. It's all around as neutral. It's like a perfectly blue one. Hmm. Make sure it's a neutron star and not a white dwarf. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> So actually, it's doable, especially, I mean, it's not going to have to be loaded up to the gills with Lavian Brandy. Uh, Amptcubus, yes, we are there. 
Um, pop out to the airlock and you can have a look. I'm actually gonna scan this neutral. This is a very nice system. Woohoo, airlock! Well, you're not the first person who said that on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stars out here are sparse. My maximum... It, it's putting my non-neutron waypoints at something like 56 light years now. Someone's discovered this. <laughs> oh, no. I wanted my name on it. I can't take pictures either, because my exhaust is not that anymore. <sighs> yeah, Grit's been airlocked twice, once by me and once by the cat. We're in the home stretch. I'm still like 200 model jumps. Wait, who never takes your side, Gret? Me or Nacer? Galaxy map. Oh, oh, we're crossing into the abyss. Welp. Yeah, now we're in the void. Void, void, void. <laughs> <laughs> I've done training for this. I did the full move. I did the full move race and screwed that up. And now I'm in the, I've done the temporal bus. So. <laughs> Just think of it as space. Oh, like everything else. <clears throat> space, this time with a bit more space. Too much space, wanna go back to Earth. <laughs> I'm in space! At least you can plan more than 400 light years at a time. That's true. That's true. Was that the old limit? 400. Uh, no, it was. was 1,000 or 100. Or 2,000. No, no, it, it was because Gret was having issues with his uh, hyperdrive. Because uh... of his distance. So anytime he tried to map something out, his Navicom just kind of choked and laughed and gave him the middle finger. System map. There's stuff here that's been discovered. Well, no, we gotta be getting close then. Uh, hey, Moo, Oculus keynote just ended. How you doing? Doing all right. Uh, take a look at the trip meter. We are getting close to Beagle Point. 5,400 light years to go. That's not bad. On 451 jumps, let's see here, subtract four from those for two sets of backtracking I did. Oh, 
Oh, this jump is 36 light years. Holy crap. And 199 jumps. Yay. You can do it! I have faith in you. <laughs> it's just that you can't do it before I do it. I don't have that much faith. Aww. Teleport over there. I get to the void. And, like fly through a mysterious black hole. <laughs> and then you just get you zoomed to Beagle. Well, yeah, it's. <laughs> Even it's, I was zoomed all the way back, and I'm just like, oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I just got to go off the beaten path a little bit. You know what? 52 light years. This will help on heating. Like going for a cluster of like really bright stars. Like oh um S A and O pass. I miss stars. Yeah, I, I don't see much of those anymore. <laughs> when I look ahead it looks great. It's also weird, um, not having like the uh, galactic band, like at all in the food. Oh yeah. Uh, that's... Yeah, this way out, there's nothing ahead of you but the intergalactic void. I'm a little nervous if I were to turn my ship around. I have a beagle. <laughs> you have a beagle and you're going to beagle point. So tell it to do some puppy magic and, you know. Bark at the screen. Yeah. Give me beagle power. No, she'd like me immediately run under my bed and just, just not come out. She sees the light under my bed. Then I would like order her to do some magic and she's done that. Paste. The jump router is a little off. That's unfortunate. That's a good thing. <laughs> if I end up like 10 jumps away, <laughs> uh, gonna check, check out a tip off. Wish me luck. Good luck, Naser. Have fun. Don't get blown up. Yeah, they're like little messages from you guys, like a tip off from the stranger. I've had one of them. The sister ones. Mm. 
have luck, good fun. Yeah, that too. Four thousand light years in now. Well, a little close to five. How far are you? Uh, I am. Or were you talking about me? That's very easy. Ah. Fourth. Uh, let's ah. see here. Forty-seven hundred light years in fifty-two jumps. That's not terrible. Not terrible given where you are. <laughs> yeah, that too. I am. Um, I'm not even hit the void yet. Um. Oh, I'm gonna like to do me a favor here. I am 10,000 miles. So about like double me. Yes, I, I decided to uh, speed that jump up just a little bit by still charging while scooping and using the using the heat sink to make up the difference. Just about to come off the arm. Oh, Bibliophilus, we are we're pushing as hard as we can. It helps that I keep ejecting more weight when everybody asks, "Are we there yet?" It's lightening <laughs> the load. Fertilance Canopy is awesome, I always forget. It's a fun ship. I've been poking... I've been entertaining ideas on what I'm going to do with one when I get back to the bubble. Pondering, you know, what what could I do with this? Could I build a variation on the Taurus with it? Where I give where I give it four frag cannons and then stick the uh, plasma cannon on the class four. What would that do? You know, little, little ideas like that. Little, little silly ideas. Dazzy Star, hey, what's up? C4 frag cannons need to exist. Space brick, I like that. <laughs> you just, you pull the trigger, there's a crack of thunder, a cloud of dust, and your target disappears. <laughs> as God is my witness, he is broken in half. Double barrel? What kind of wimp are you? I'm thinking quad barrel, something built by Torg. Torg weapons are awesome! The vault hunter it's used them, so and the vault hunter is physically attractive! I spent two hours getting crap to convert into more crap for an engineer. Huh, no shit. Fertile Lance is better for long-range engagements. Well, no, you're not wrong, but you see, I'm a little crazy sometimes. I just like stupid builds every once in a while to see. Practicality is another... <laughs> Practicality is something uh, I have parted ways with a long ago.
Frag cannons are amazing and broken, and I hope they stay that way. Amen. Call me my vote. What's that? Call me my uh, vote to use fire cannons. I should I should stick some of those. Uh... Oh, sorry, go on. Oh. My bad. Uh, like everything I use apart from my vote and my chieftain is just my cannons and lasers. Oh, my team and uh, oh no, my person has a can. But yeah, I <laughs> I remember that tweet, Nacer. But no, I'm think I was thinking about that. And I was thinking, you know, maybe I should stick those pacifiers. I've got a few. I've got a few to spare. Throw a couple of pacifier frags on the uh, on the vulture. I bet that would work well. Who is it that gives the pack hounds again? Uh, pack hounds are given out by... Oh, damn, who's that? I think it's Leong Ri. Oh, yeah. Ah, thank you for confirming that, Gret. APA Vulture? Oh, yeah. Except that means I'd have to work for... Uh, that means I'd have to work for Denton Patrius, and, well, I'd rather gnaw off my arm. Uh, Critical Drift, please give me a suggestion or a system I should set up in. Narvard is nice, as is the uh, Mehrs system. I could suggest that, Pat. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, Ghost can suggest the Aptet system, A-P-T-E-T. -E -T. Excuse me, hiccup. Oh, my game's crashed. Yeah. Wow, I have powerful hiccups. <laughs> I sabotaged with a hiccup. Uh, yes, Aptet. Yeah, there's a system named that. Um, Holy sh... <clears throat> oh, the system named Atetti, which confuses some of my new <laughs> Right, one moment. We aren't getting out of this vortex anytime soon, so... Let's have to ride straight through. Very interesting. All the jumps here are off by one. One or two. So where the route plotter is saying I should be going ten jumps, I'm going eleven. Where it said I should be going twelve, I'm actually going fourteen. Hmm. Not a major thing, just an interesting thing. Are prismatic shields worth it? Uh, Gret, <laughs> you're up. That's a little 
I mean, I don't trust her as far as I can throw my ship, but, you know. <laughs> Turns out she's actually a man. Turns out she's actually a Thargoid. <laughs> the hair gives it away. Thargoid spy. We can get I'm not a Thargoid spy to confirm. <laughs> um, Noodle, it'd be good for good for combat. It'd be good for high capacity cargo missions. Things like that. Yeah, the benefit of a shield tank of a hull tank is your modules don't get knocked out as much as in combat. Yeah. And then there's the chieftain, which runs, you know, which I run as a hybridized combat or shield and hull tank. I can't get my chieftain shield hard in 400. No, you can't. Well, you could use guardian shield boosters, but. Um, or one heavy duty shield booster ought to do it. Ah. Uh. But yeah, the the big deal for the uh, the chieftain isn't the raw mega jewels; it's the resistances. Oh, my resistances are definitely okay for my team. System and then I got replot. Got that. <laughs> 10,000 light years, like nearly exactly. And you're at like 3.8. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm closing in. Whoa. I've just turned around and looked for the galactic band. That's cool. Tempting. Uh, do you always have to maintain your rating, and if you don't, do you lose them? Um, it slowly degrades, I think? Or that may only be with superpowers. I'm not not entirely sure. With, um, power play, it, it's done on your merits, and then your merits get halved every week. Um. Oh, for power play, yeah. 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 They, they do decrement every week. Uh, we're wa rating four, waiting three weeks. Uh, you're gonna have to put in some more work to at least maintain rating three. Because in three weeks, that rating four is probably going to drop to... Below. <laughs> Below what you need. Why did it not pop to be gold? I have a 62 light year ship. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, no, NoodleCom Prodigy. Uh, it, you can only buy up while you are working with them. It's not a blueprint, it's an actual module. So you gotta, you gotta stay with them, buy up as many from the store as you can afford to store, because once you leave that faction, you don't have access to buying anymore. Oh, it's not letting me put the eagle, hold on. Alright. Why is it not letting me do that? You could be running into a space that's just too far. I'll try playing a bit closer. That was very close because I nearly passed through that star.
Oh, Nacer has a point. You may be trying to pass through a locked sector. Is there any locked sectors yeah, out here? Yeah, there's, there's locked sectors up here. Oh. Um, do we know what they are? Uh, yes, edsm.net has the, um, on the, on the map, they've got oh, locked sectors. Oh, Galaxy map, actually, while we're here. Let's see if we can. jumps I got. Come on. Work with me here. The pre... The... Pre-E-I. P-R-A-E-I sector. Galaxy map. We're close. As the crow flies, yeah, we my... are 48, 48 light years from Beagle. Yeah, my computer's trying to take me for that. Um... Parallel region, because that's like pretty much exactly where I am. Come on. <sighs> oh, okay, it's jumping me to that. All right. The player. Layer one, two, three, four, and five. That I've already well passed that. Uh, it's just a free one. Oh, this is going to be cutting it so close. And you got 45 minutes. Yeah, I got 45 minutes before I got to get to an appointment. Well, 45 minutes with a slight built-in buffer, depending on if I walk or if I you know, do something other than Public walk. Trans Public transportation, private transportation, etc. Ah. Uh. But it's, it's, oh, it's going to be close. Uh, Bibliophilus, yes. Remarkably enough, I do have one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your secrets as to how to get one. <laughs> uh, adulting. Adulting, <laughs> unfortunately. And then cats. And then cats cause sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation causes... I forget what that causes. Madness? Yeah, that. <laughs> All work and no play makes Moochan something something. Go crazy? <laughs> Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Galaxy map. How am I gonna get around this sector? You've got the shinning. You mean shining. Shh, you want to get sued? <laughs> I 
Resume course. Twelve plus eight plus one plus thirteen. Twelve plus eight twenty. I got forty one jumps. I got forty one jumps to go. I got I don't know, I can't because of that time I look. Uh can you go Z positive or Z negative? I might try once I get to the edge of the abyss. Alright. What's your position anyway, if you don't mind my asking, if it's not too much imposition? Yeah, that's no problem. Um, the imposition, what a show. Wait, wrong thing. <laughs> it's a uh, Naya Nya. You may want to write that one down. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably not. M um, N U T H O U Mike Delta Zulu Delta One Dash Four Six. Nyaso. <laughs> when Moose sings as much as it today, you know the madness is set in. Well, am I really that bad? Don't answer. Compared to, <laughs> compared to some people in Discord. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> Okay, it to do. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. No, I'm not saying the madness is bad. Is my singing bad? <laughs> Six thousand, like. I'm not even going to try and sing with this mic. <laughs> it's just that usually I'm not this musical. Well, there's... That is a very good point. Yeah, the madness has fully set in. Along with the sleep deprivation, thank you so much for that, Hank and Yuki. Ah, uh, cats. Where would I be without them? Oh yeah, sane. Speaking of madness, uh, do you want to plug that idea we had, or would you rather not? Make uh, it? which one? I forget which one. Yeah, uh, expeditionary oh. level. Oh, right, that one. Um, I, yeah. I, I can. I mean, you can actually, but I, um, I wasn't sure whether I should continue on with the, um, with the reading there. I didn't. I didn't get any um, feedback other than you liked what I. You you liked the test shots I sent, but. I like, uh... Well, well, we can discuss that later. Yeah. Alright. But, uh, for the for the stream's knowledge, I suppose, um... Uh, my expeditionary logs I wrote 
on my galactic circumnavigation. Uh, I've given them to Mu for like, possibly um, turning them into a voice recorded series on YouTube. So if you're interested in my writing and uh, Mu's voice, there's that's probably going to become a thing. <laughs> no, I'm certainly so interested in my voice one. and your writing. So your voice is very nice. <laughs> And, uh, Zolidaire, yeah, space trucking has gotten to me. It, it, it got to me several thousand light years ago. Also, hi folks, how are y'all? Space madness. God, now I gotta find the space duck. <laughs> what a majestic creature. You do get a weird feeling being like this far, be far, this far out. Uh, Malice Rain, still racing? Yep, I'm I'm close. I'm getting close. And yeah, the um, Ghost, the the feeling I got. I mean, when I helped Meow out, I escorted I escorted her about eight thousand light years out from um from the bubble the first time when she went out here. I couldn't go any further. It's it's this weird sensation, like, also when I'm swimming in ultra-deep water, like, I'd be, you know, I, I can swim just fine. I can float just fine. But when somebody tells me, oh, you know, the water here is like a thousand feet deep, I just suddenly freeze up. Like wow, yeah, like there is no, there is nothing between me and the bottom of the ocean but a thousand feet of of water, and whatever horrors are down there. And I got the same feeling when I was eight thousand light years out from the bubble. Uh, Zolidaire. Phrasing. When when I am in that <laughs> deep the, when I am in that deep of water, no, I want nothing associated with an anchor. <laughs> But yes, I do want some kind of link to the familiar. <laughs> Just swim faster. Ah, no, I'd be pull I'd be pulling a Wally West. I'd be looking like the Flash. I'd be raising <laughs> I'd be ra I would look like a hydroplane, a jet-powered hydroplane zooming along Lake Washington. If uh if <laughs> if my terror matched my swimming abilities. Or if my swimming abilities matched my terror. It's like even, like when I was docking on the, uh, <laughs> like the lagoon sector particularly, and like just looking up, and like even though there was a civilization there, and like a, a base, it still felt like I, like I, I was in France, and like I just knew I wasn't home, and it was like a, a weird feeling. Yeah, yeah. In Zolidaire. Like, no, I, 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 I get you. I'm just being a smart ass. Yeah. Sorry, go on, Ghost. Didn't mean to interrupt there. Yeah, uh, it's right. Um, but it's like, um, I mentioned that in my actual logs. It's, it, it's like being away from home outside at night. It's yeah. like a weird combination of things. You have not left the bubble. <laughs> the bubble is like a little planet inside the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I nominate Mitter, Mitter and Hollow for the bubble. Yes. It spins around fast enough. Yep. Or maybe Akinar 3 after I hit it with that Type 10. It just kind of wobbles and bobbles for a moment. <laughs> the bubble head. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're on a submarine. Have you ever 
tuned into the um is it the bubble set the bubble nebula uh yes i have it's very pretty it really is there's you have to work really hard to get an ugly nebula in this game oh yeah true though i Even i like still say sack. i am disappointed as i am just so gutted that i flew to the eagle nebula and it was just generic nebula number 37. Hmm. Then again, I wonder how much like processing power would have to go. Like, I know like Bernard's loop was like a, like internally replaced within a game. Yeah. But I wonder like how much that would actually take to uh, realistically create nebulas. Hmm, not sure. Uh, Gret says, technically the orca, dolphin, and beluga are submarines. Well, technically anything is amphibious if you can get it back out of the water. Everything's a submersible. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> oh, so it's always confused me. Like, why, uh... Spaceships always called ships. Why aren't they called like space planes? I'm, like given nautical terms as opposed to aviation terms. Well, mostly because huh, if I had to make a guess. Shoot, that's a very good question, but cars are just very bad submarines. You're not wrong. <laughs> Um, because a lot of spacecraft require a full-on crew rather than a just a pilot and a co-pilot, I guess. Maybe. Ah. Uh. So you know, the the Navy is a little bit better at um, crew management over large, you know, large vessels. Maybe. Hmm. Possibly. They're more like ships. Ships you go on a voyage, they're home. That's that's also true, Zolidaire. The Saud Kruger ships are actually made to go both in space and underwater. Oh! Oh, that's neat. I'm just gonna send my beluga straight into a wall well. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Probably get in, but like a a megala megala megalodon. <laughs> a gigalodon. A gigalodon. <laughs> See, that just sounds like the cutest giant shark ever. It giggles every time they eat you. Um. <laughs> like the Pillsbury Doughboy of sharks. Uh, Rambling dragon, how goes the race? Um, it's gonna be close. I've got to leave in about. I've got to leave the uh, house in about half an hour for an appointment. Ghost Tracker is about 6,000 light years behind me. So right now I am, no offense Ghost, I'm mostly racing the clock here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying real hard and it's gonna be, it's gonna be cutting very fine. Racing the just... clock is technically racing. <laughs> Relog into Subnautica to experience the whole crash-tastic nature. Yeah, that that looked like a sod Kruger ship too. The Aurora is a modified Beluga. Yeah. Beluga. <laughs> Beluga. <laughs> SSTO should not mean single stage to ocean, damn it. Oh, Subnautica was awesome. It still is. Yeah, theoretically, you're racing the clock 
Because if you don't win against the clock, then I'm going to win. So yeah. Technically, the clock's me right now. <laughs> That's very true. I am actually racing a ghost. There is a ghost <laughs> timer race I am doing right now. Damn. Didn't think I was into the whole resource gathering base building, then I got into No Man's Sky. I really like the base building um, abilities they had in in uh, Subnautica. And yeah, you can play it without needing the resources. You can just have, you can play it in a mode where you just, you know, build, explore, etc. Creative mode, isn't it? Creative mode, yeah, yeah. See if you can build an underwater mansion composed of other slightly smaller mansions. Smaller mansions. <laughs> yeah. Make Butt Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Butt Stallion says hi. <laughs> oh. My word. What this do you is got? chugging the plotting. Like, even the, the, the thing which signifies it's um, plotting a riot yeah. is just ticking, like, incredibly slow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, is it? Um... oh, no. There we go. Running out of mats really fast on this project. Yes, as any major engineering project does, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Oh, good. Uh. <laughs> I was one jump away from uh, being in major trouble there. That's right, Solidaire. Mm. Lakes for days. <laughs> Can you do the final 2,000 in 25 minutes? We're going to give it a good try. Especially because I've got a Neutron right here. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I take it back, I've got two Neutrons. I've got a Tutron. A Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> uh, LR-ND6-4, LR-ND6-4. And away we go! Ninety percent plotted. Okay, I can actually plot now. And my paint's gone. <laughs> oh yeah. One hundred and sixty-six <laughs> jumps. One hundred and sixty-six jumps. Shoot, I could go back to the appointment, come back and re. Come back and still get it. <laughs> yeah. Galaxy map. Come on, give me the map. One neutron star. All right, here we go. Ghost wins by default just for doing it. That is a positive way to look at it. <laughs> An inaccurate way of looking at it, but a positive way of looking at it. A win for taking part. <laughs>
Participation trophies? What do you think this is? The American Civil War? <laughs> and yeah, it was my idea to race. <laughs> yeah, and it was her idea to race. Okay, this is saying I got 13 jumps, but actually I got 12 jumps mapped out. Rambling Dragon, hello! Okay, I've got yeah, I was like, no, okay. 19 okay. jumps to make. I was like the little small kid that went up to like the really bad kid. I was like, come on, I'll fight you. Expect him to win. <laughs> I mean, we didn't win. I know. That's a big effort. We did define ship choice. Explorer, that is a choice. Yeah, Rambling Dragon, that was a very, very active Neutron Star. Wouldn't, wouldn't the really, like, spinny one be classes and pulses? Uh, yeah, that's true, too. I guess it depends on how far the, uh... See, I don't know, because the, the, um, energy beam that a Pulsar puts out is usually further off axis. Or off rotational axis. It's like the... Oh, yeah, the true, because it's more like a... Yeah, the magnetic yeah. poles and the uh, rotational axis are very, very off. So I'm not sure. It's probably the closest thing this game has to a pulsar. Yeah. Oh lord, can you imagine what a what a neutron star with like or what a what a pulsar would look like in this game? Imagine trying to fly through the jet stream and just getting batted around. You could flung back out again immediately. Yeah. Oh, you wanna well, go quadruple your jump distance? Safe. Here, we'll do it the hard way. Bam! <laughs> Look, Zaldair, I'm I'm not I'm not a racer. I'm not even I'm a, and I'm especially not a lawyer. Somebody <laughs> wanted to put in a proper definition. Should have given me a more proper definition when we started the race before they challenged me to the race. Hey, hey, I'm not a racer or a lawyer either. <laughs> not one of those lawyer and law talking types. <laughs> Okay, eight jumps plus seven, eight and seven, fifteen. It's twelve forty one. I average around a jump a minute. I've got fifteen jumps. Do you have to repay your FSD? No. Oh. <laughs> I need a better yeah, audio clip of that. <laughs> Damn it, I thought I had the good audio clip there. No, I got the crappy one. 
of the quad one now. FSD's at 85%. I can make it there with 4% to spare. I got one more neutron jump to make. And that's at uh, Kea OS-R D5-0. Which would be put me at 600... 657 light years from Beagle before the neutron jump. So that should take you around about half. Yeah. But then, given the, uh... Given the region... Ah, uh, yeah. So it's actually, yeah, it's gonna be seven jumps from the neutron star. I also timed it out, so I'm not doing this at, like, 6 a.m. <laughs> ah, Gret, you need to work on your timing, man. Ooh, this is a big stop. Oh, it's a very big star. Oh, it's a white giant. Ooh. There's an F class giant. I didn't even know these were a thing. Oh, neat. Sorry, not everyone can cross the abyss in 20 jumps. Speaking of somebody who sh Well, no, you volunteered <laughs> to fly that Corvette, and more power to you, but holy damn. <laughs> Lazy bastards. I prefer efficient. If you can do things the laziest way possible, you found the most efficient way to it possible. Damn right. <laughs> Preach on. <laughs> it's also like the rules of lazy. Why stand when you can sit? Why sit when you can lay down? If it only works in the way that it... Well, how's that go? If it only works in exactly the way the manufacturer intended, it's defective. <laughs> Fourteen minutes. Yep, I see it. Tick-tock, tick-tock, no pressure. Tick-tock, <laughs> I don't mean, I don't think Core Dynamics built the Corvette thinking it would cross the universe. That's true. You should be getting some kind of, uh, endorsement deal from them. I flew a federal Corvette to Beagle Point. What'd you do with your life? Core Dynamics. <laughs> What'd you do with your life? Okay, corporate motto needs work, but, you know, I'm not married to it. Need You know, we can, we can change that up a little bit. Run it past some focus groups. <laughs> Though it's very close to the Federal Navy's motto. The Federal Navy, sponsored by Core Dynamics. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I love the way the fed pigs look. The Imperial ships. They, they like... Eh. 
Looks like somebody's somebody stuffed wings into a Mac store. Yeah, but exactly that. I mean, it even says it right there. Eye Eagle, Eye Courier. <laughs> oh, it's not just looks, most of them don't handle. Fair. Fair. I mean, I suppose they would handle like, like tanks. You're gonna upset our local Imperial? What's he gonna do? Fly his low, low range ship out here? See, here you go, getting me mocking an Imperial and I uh, missed my star. <laughs> oh, holy crap. What's he gonna bask at me? I just got a <laughs> What's he oh. gonna do? Bask at me? And no, Gret's not an Imperial. No, I thought the I thought we meant another local Imperial. Well, I mean, he's looked back at the galaxy. Yeah, I just looked back at the galaxy and was like, oh holy crap. What's weird to think is that Earth is on the other side of that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna have to find the damn star this way. With a map and navigation tools. <laughs> Oh, I was close. All right. Well, that's going to knock a couple minutes off the trip, ain't it? <laughs> Galaxy map. Gobble, gobble, gobble. All right, Alex, let's ride. Gonna have four minutes to spare. Yes, I am. <laughs> You have a full crew? Ask them to paddle faster. Here you go, Rambling Dragon, just for that. <laughs> no crew left, most left early via airlock. Damn it! Ah well, the peace and quiet was worth it. Change, <laughs> change my name on Discord. Oh no. Ever heard the term thou does protest too much? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Command center. Not an Imperial Gret. All right, right on the mark. 
Now that's good testing match in my opinion. <laughs> Hey, buddy. What you doing? Hank has just hopped up on his uh, little table over here to, you know, to look at me. Stand on the pedal. Stand on the pedal, Hank. Do it. <laughs> Don't you go tempting him. <laughs> help a sister help. <laughs> He's going to send you back to the bubble. I whispered to him. Threat me, almighty cat whisper. One more job, damn it. <laughs> uh, Hank and I understand each other. There's nothing we do better than mess with Moo. <laughs> Hundred and forty four jumps ahead of me. I made it. Ah, <sighs> Galaxy Map. Plotting failed cell maze reach that makes sense. How far is cell maze reach? Um, I am five hundred and forty seven point five light years. Ooh. Now I'll have to figure out the routing on that, but Ah and there is Holy crap. This is a long ways off. Galaxy map. Just crap. <laughs> well, it was a clean win. And you had plenty of times where you actually raced for a couple extra hours before or after me. I'm clumsy. <laughs> Take a photo. Let's see if that actually converted through. Yep, screenshot saved. All right. Oh. I feel like I've been further out, like um, of the galactic plane. Pardon that? What's that? 
I feel like I've been further out the galaxy, um, the galactic plane than Beagle Point with that one system. That's true. I'm you have, I, you have well, I don't know if you've been further out in the galactic plane. I mean, well, yeah, okay. On the near end, when you were, yeah, I know where you're talking about. Yeah, out, out beyond Formidine. All right, so here I am, and there's everything else. If you want my system, then it's, uh, I'll type it. All right. S-K-U-E-Q-I-A-E-P-J-Y-B-B-E. Oh, that's weird. And that's true, Gret. Yeah, she... She had a lower jumping ship, and you know, just not all, not no access to any of the tools I got. So yeah, her her oh. extra timing. I'm not gonna. I won't begrudge anything. It was. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was. I still had all the advantage. Oh wait, equal sign. That would be the problem. That is a why well, Reddit should be a V. Oh. No? Yeah, that was my bad. That was my, uh, color blindness. PJ-V? No, it's not, not listing. Oh, uh... Wait. Now it's got something. Oh. No, that's just Beagle Point. Hmm. One second. Come on. Right. Let's try this one real quick. All right. S U E G Q I A E. No, that's B, B C. I flew into the star. Crap. B one one dash zero. Paste. That one worked. And you are 7,200 light years back. Oh, so you gained another, like, a uh, thousand. Yeah, you, you haven't even... You're just getting to the edge of the abyss. Further out, the more face roll they get. <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, started two hours early, ending two hours early. But a good end, a good race, and... Well, I mean, I expect Ghost will still be out here when, uh, you know, Ghost's still going to be making her way out here. Probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for coming out. Thanks for spending time here. Thanks for watching this this epic event because I've this is my first time to Beagle. I've never been here. So thank you all for coming out, and I will be back tomorrow, usual time, usual place, and we will see... Hell, we're going to see where uh, where we go from there. Probably heading back. I don't know if I'm going to go for Salome's Reach. I'm not sure. But anyway, fly safe, everybody. If you can't fly safe, fly dangerous. If you can't fly safe or fly dangerous, well, be careful going to Beagle Point and those stars get real hungry for your ship out there. <laughs> Take care. See you all tomorrow. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Bocephus, see you. Thanks for, for the... There. Thank you for the stream. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. And Terlock, don't worry. We'll be we'll be doing this again real soon. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Generally, just, you know, have a good one.